In this video, we're going to focus on how to create a multiple bar chart in Chart.js. With Chart.js, you can make nice bar charts, but you can also make quite nice and useful multiple bar charts like these here, where you can see that the data is being shown all side by side here beautifully. So let's explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to focus on how to create a multi-bar chart in Chart.js. And with it, what is a multi-bar chart? Basically, multi-bar chart consists of multiple bars besides each other. So let's start and, and work on that. So first of all, before we do anything, I want to get my default code. And I have a website for that, which is chartjs3.com. And then slash doc slash chart getting started. Just go to the get, getting started section in the documentation. And then here, you can find you below the entire code here. So I'm going to copy this default code, which is very similar to the documentation in Chart.js. However, it's built in blocks. If you want to understand what I did here, check out this video here that shows exactly the breakdown of that. So I'm going to paste this in here. The moment I paste this in here, I'm just going to cut out the title here, put it in here. And then what I want to do is I want to save this and refresh here. All right, so now we have this here. This is exactly similar to the official documentation. And this is what we call a single bar chart. So if you want to create a multiple bar chart, you need to understand how Chart.js works. Basically, Chart.js will draw more bars based on the data sets here. The more data sets you have, the more items you can create, or basically the more bars you will have. So let's copy this here. I'm going to copy this all exactly. And I'm going to paste in two more. So I'm going to put a comma here and paste. The moment I do this, I have now only one, so I'm going to come again here and paste another one and save this. So once I save this, you can see now we have multiple bars besides each other. So what I want to do is just for the sake of explanation and exploring this part more, is give it some different colors, give it all. And the bars should match with each other, but this should also match, match correctly, meaning that, for example, this part will only be red, the first bar, and it should be red as well. The second one will be blue, here, here, and here, or the middle, basically the bar in the middle. And finally, will be one, will be green. And this should all match as well, give it proper names as well. So what we're going to do in here, I'm going to just make up some data as well. First of all, I'm going to remove here all the colors except the first one. The first one is red, so I'm going to remove all of this and keep the red color here for the background. And same for the border color. Then I'm going to delete all of this and then put a comma here and make sure you have a comma here as well because in JavaScript this is essential for your object, meaning that there's a next value in the object. So we have this one here, all right. Then the next one here will be, well, we, if this is red, we can say the number of cost. And we have here another, another one. This will be blue, let's say revenue, number, revenue. So that is not what I wanted, revenue. Uh, sorry, I'm misspelling it. Revenue, the number of revenue. And then what I want to do here is I want to get the blue one. I want to remove all of this. Make sure that this is all besides the other. And then I guess we can just delete all of this because we just grab the same color. As you can see here above, it's just the same color except the difference would be the alpha value, which is one, meaning 100% visible. And 0 0.2 means 20% visible and 80% transparency. All right. So that's a bit, a bit of a color history or a background. I'm going to grab this. Make sure this is one. All right. Finally, this is the uh, fourth number, I think, because the fourth number would be the green color. So I'm going to remove everything except the fourth one. There we are. All right. Then I'm going to copy this specific value, put it in here. Put a comma here, make sure you have a comma here. And I realized that I forgot the comma here. Convert this into a single value of one because the border color. All right. And this can be profit. So number, profit, etc. etc. Save this. Once you do this, as you can see here, now this is beautiful and covers this nicely. You can see here all of these colors are matched and everything is shown. We can get even some random data here. Let's make this one, 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 nine. And nine. Uh, this we can leave, and this here we can say five, five, one, two, three, and four. Save that, and there we are. So we have all kind of different values here. 
So this is basically how you can create a multiple bar chart in Chart.js. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.